The 2024 Formula One season will officially begin in just a few hours. Tomorrow marks the first of the three official test days provided by the FIA, leading to the season opening Grand Prix next week in Bahrain. Yesterday, McLaren and Haas were already on the track, completing another 200 km of a filming day after the one used at Silverstone for their car's shakedown. Today, Mercedes, Alpine and Williams will take advantage of their first promotional event. It's preparatory work for tomorrow, aiming to start the test without surprises and with some data already collected. As usual, Ferrari covered the initial 200 kilometers at Fiorano the day after the presentation, receiving positive feedback from the SF24. Thousands of work hours have gone into creating the new machines on the 2024 grid. And although teams have completed shakedowns, it is only when testing kicks off in Bahrain that the first real clues begin to trickle through about how the grid could be stacking up. Of course, we won't get a true answer for that until qualifying in Sakir, but it will still be interesting to see how events unfold, as feedback from the driver is also key to understanding a new car. All teams on the grid have moved towards the former Red Bull style of downwash side pods, but one upside for Mercedes and Ferrari is that they still have giant gains to make in their performance, ones that Red Bull has already found. As far as Red Bull is concerned, it has already aced one ground effects concept and is on to its second, whilst Mercedes and Ferrari are still trying to figure out their first. As expected, Ferrari has confirmed the daily driver rotation for this upcoming pre-season testing session at the Sakir circuit. Each team is free to set its test work program without a mileage limit. Moreover, they can decide how to divide the use of drivers over the three days. The Italian side typically chooses to put both of its drivers on the track every day, alternating them between morning and afternoon sessions. Some teams avoid this to prevent the complication of changing seats and car settings midway through the day for the mechanics. Still, it's very beneficial for the drivers to get accustomed to the car more quickly, driving it every day, and for the engineers to work by listening to the feedback from both drivers following a unique and shared work plan. As with any choice, there are pros and cons, but Ferrari's methodology in this case maintains continuity with the past. Starting the work tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Central European Standard Time will be Charles Leclerc. Carlos Sainz debuted the SF24 in both the shakedown and the filming day, while this time it will be the Monegasque covering the first kilometers of the day. In the afternoon, it will be the Spaniard's turn. Unless there are changes, the following day is expected to follow the same pattern but with reversed shifts. Therefore, Carlos Sainz will open the day and Charles Leclerc will close it. On the last day, they will follow the work plan from the first day, Charles Leclerc in the morning, and Carlos Sainz will conclude the test in the afternoon at the Sakir track. The Marinello team has, however, established a non-restrictive work plan, meaning that if circumstances require it, the original program can be modified without issues. Another year, another pre-season Formula One test, and another few days that will make or break the team's Formula One season. For the bigger teams, some updates will come as early as the first race and it's not unheard of for performance to be unlocked by an upgrade between testing and the season opener.